business development. I have spent four glorious decades in being a hardcore business development guy. Now, when I started four decades ago, people didn't much like the idea of being either a salesman or a marketing man or a PR man or an event man or a brand communication man because they all felt that those were really non-technical jobs and not jobs that really worth their weight and salt in spending entire career in. For them, it was all about being lawyers, doctors, engineers, and so and so forth. Right? Sales was always considered a very there about kind of career. But let me tell you, business development is the spine bone of every organization. What does business development do? It takes the product to the market in one of the most amazing, strategically innovative ways. And it requires a whole lot of intellect to actually be part of a journey taking products to markets. And yet people never, never looked at it as one of the most exciting careers that you can actually have. So I'm going to share with you six joys of being in business development. In actual fact, six joys of being a salesman. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Sledgehammer's Edge Power Pack. Let's journey on. Development. I spent four wondrous years in this beautiful industry. An industry which has multiple forces to do what? To take the product to the market. And what are these forces? Sales, marketing, brand communication, uh, PR, customer relations, whatever have you. And all these forces work towards taking that product to the market. And let me tell you, I was part of the most toughest of the forces, sales. A hardcore salesman. Now why do I say that mine was the toughest? Because it was the results were absolutely tangible. Target, business, period. There was nothing else in between. So it was, it was a very tough proposition. But why do I say it was a wondrous, wondrous journey? Because there was so many joyous learnings that I got from this industry that it every week, every month, every year, every decade helped me become a better version of myself. And that's the truth. And let me tell you, let me share with you how out of all those wondrous joys that I experienced, I'm going to share six of them, which will probably tell you what I went through so beautifully as a salesman. Number one, my first joy was it developed a temperament of steel within me. Imagine you walk into office, absolutely charged up, motivated, inspired, and suddenly you face a day of rejections, you face a day of no business, you come back, leadership's upset, wants to know why nothing happened, was it the product, was it you, justifications, so and so forth, and you go back feeling like what the cat brought in from the neighbor's garage last night, <laughs> garbage last night. The truth is that this cycle, the highs and the lows of being in sales just naturally develops a temperament of steel within you. And this percolates into you, into your personal life. And imagine what, ama what an amazing human being you actually become when your 
filled with the temperament of steel. The second joy, responsibility. This is something that very naturally happens in sales. And you know why? Because you are, or your team is, totally involved in taking the product to the market. Which entrepreneur can survive his organization if funds don't get generated from the market through sales of his product? So you are actually in a very responsible division of the organization, responsible for the progress of the organization, responsible for the progress of every individual working in your organization. And that again percolates into your personal life, responsible towards your family, friends, everyone, everyone who is dependent on you for their progress. Joy number three, patience and consistency. Wouldn't that, wouldn't you love to have people around you who are deeply patient and very consistent in whatever they're doing? Sales does that to you because you have, you wake up every morning and you know that you have to keep going for it till everything is achieved, all business plans are achieved, all strategies worked on and proven right. And you know what, what sales is all about? The moment your target is achieved, it's all over. You get a new set and a new action plan and a new journey ahead. And therefore you have to just have no alternative but to be very patient, very consistent. Three, or rather four, character and integrity. That is, goes without saying. Why? Because as a salesperson, what are you doing? You are addressing the pain of your client with a solution that your product offers. And therefore, you're like a doctor with a patient. You diagnose sickness, and then you write out a prescription of pills to do what? To cure the patient. In the very same way, a salesman takes away the pain of his client by offering the product as a solution. Now, that requires an enormous amount of transparency and integrity. You can't do that by just sheer kidding. It requires a very deep understanding of what your client wants and a very vivid explanation of how you can take that pain away from your client. Now imagine the human, humanistic relationship that you actually build up with your client and that again reflects on the kind of humanistic relationship you build up outside in your personal life with your family, friends, acquaintances, everyone who are bonded with you. Fourth, or the fifth joy, resilient physical form. Oh my gosh, let me tell you this. You have to be in absolute top form to be in sales. Now, I started my career in sales in one of the most difficult terrains up north in India where you have the winters which could be literally freezing and summers where you could actually get sunburnt to no extent. Now imagine a day, you walk out of the office, your office is at 24 degrees centigrade, centrally cooled. You walk out, it's 35 degrees centigrade. You walk into your client's office, it is 24 degrees centigrade. You walk out, it's 40 degrees centigrade. You walk to the next client, it's 24 degrees centigrade. This goes on the entire day. And imagine what that does to your physical form. Two, you're always on the move. You're never in one position, not sitting in a nice air-conditioned cabin throughout the entire day. You are always, always on the move. And that just automatically puts you on a far better physical form than anyone else in most other divisions of an organization. Six, and this is the best one, unparalleled service. 
unparalleled service. You're always serving. You're always taking care of the pain of your clients. The people who need you to provide solutions for them. And this is one thing I used to do. I used to really enjoy it because it also, like I, like like all other all the other five joys of mine, which I, which I just talked about, percolated into my personal life, and I would always be open to serving people because it had become a part of my existence. Every client I met, every person in my target demography that I met, who suffer a pain which my product could find a solution for, I was always there. And it gave me a wonderful sense of belonging to people around me. These six beautiful joys is what helped me become a better version of myself as the years progressed. But yes, again, yes again, let me tell you, one of the most beautiful things about this particular industry is that it's got a very definite beginning and a very definite end when it comes to a career growth. Because 80% of chief executive officers across the world are people from a hardcore sales background. And you know why? That's very simple. If you're an entrepreneur, you need someone who knows how to take your vision your solution and your product to the market. And that can be only done by hardcore salesmen like me. So this is Anand signing off for now. I'll see you soon with another power pack. This time, I plan to do something really, really phenomenal in the mindset of a salesman. So, Keep following, press the subscribe button to be notified when my next power pack crafted just for you hits the channel. Till then, have a wonderful life and ciao for now.